Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Fabledom. Part three in our series so far, and we've gotten to there. I really don't want to start courting anybody yet, because I don't know... I, I, I just don't know who I want to court, but that's kind of like our only other objective in the tutorial right now, but we may get something else pop up. But in the meantime, we do now have two unemployed uh, little friends, failings, and I want to get some fish on the go here. This is just a little pond, so let's try to cover that completely if we can. Yeah, look at that. Perfection. We could go there. Then we lose a little spot. So there we go. No matter where the fish spawn, we will be able to get to them. And then I am going to build one more of our granaries to store said fish in. And I'm going to put that right there. Uh, and we will limit that to just fish. And that way our fishermen always have somewhere to put the fish. Because that will be a good thing. Uh, and we've got room for nine more fablings. This is going to take three. That's going to take a few. And then we have a few other jobs that are currently awaiting uh, some workers. Do we have we have plenty of stone. We have plenty of logs. We have just enough planks to get all of this done. So let's see how long it takes them to get over here and actually build this. So far, I haven't seen anybody walk over this way. I mean, they can reach it. Like I said uh, one or two videos ago, roads aren't a big deal. Like, I can't even really place roads here. Like, I could do that and then bring it to there. All that'll do is slightly speed up how quick they walk. It won't do anything else. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, they've gotten all the stone. I do, or all the planks. I do love how it shows you in real time as they drop things off. Uh, what you're waiting on, unlike other games where you have to like click in and do all kinds of stuff. Hey, what are they? Uh, they want us. No, I can't do that. That, that would require me building uh, three more farms and or changing out the crops that are there. And I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to we're going to say, nah, thanks, man. But not really my jam. I would like to move this. We're going to move it after we place it. See if I can't get it over this way a little bit closer. That way they don't have to walk as far to drop off their fish. Not that it makes a huge difference, because it doesn't. But I'd like to be able to uh, ensure that that's not going to be an issue. And there they go. They're hammering it. They make boats. They make everything all just out of scaffolding. So some planks and, and some rocks. I mean, Three boats, this building, and this whole pier, and some, I guess those are fish, I don't know. Uh, but we should have... Fish is the smell, especially in the summer. It kind of distracts from my feet. I have a moist foot problem. That was an overshare. Uh, I forget what I was about to say when he interrupted me. I like to let the narrator talk. So yeah, we've got several places that the fish spawn in here, and then once they are caught, they will disappear. But the fish also respawn. And look at this, it's summertime. Look at the flowers and everything falling through the air and the spores of plants. The, the ambience of this game is, is done really well. I, I really dig it. I wonder if I can move this over to here. I don't know. I don't remember if there was a tile there or not. Yeah, that'll be just that much closer for them. And we have people to work there. We have no more unemployed fablings. I almost said fablings. But we've got room to get up to 54. So let's do that. Um, we'll just jump cut to another world event if it pops up or reaching uh, 54, which whichever happens first. You know, while we're waiting, there is something that I was planning on doing in this video that I forgot about, and that is our hero. We can get the hero out and uh, on the go, doing some fun things. Uh, our water doesn't reach to here, right? Yeah, so that's a perfect place for the hero's tent. Uh, we will welcome in new visitors. This does not require uh, any workers. The hero is a worker unto himself. And now let's go ahead and get 
some more people doing some things here. I am for now going to remove the worker from the Messenger's Guild, even though it lowers happiness a bit. I just want to get all these other buildings staffed first. Um, I just think that would be... Oh, what a it... specimen! Your hero has arrived. The hero is your kingdom's strongest fighter. It can interact with secrets in the realm, level up, and even equip new items. Oh, go on, try giving it an order. Look how huge he is compared to everybody else. That massive sword, I love it. So we click on the hero. Wait, hold on, I wanna, I wanna do that again. Sometimes he will make the best noises. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's my favorite one. So you can open his armory. He already has like a hat, a couple hats you can choose from, and a trinket. We'll give him that trinket. That gives him just a boost in all of his health regen and attack speed. And then we can also increase the damage dealt as well as his attack speed or health regeneration. Um doesn't really matter because we're not really going to be sending him on a whole lot of uh, combat right now. Uh, but we do want to give him an order. And this is where uh, these events start coming into play. Somewhere we had a shoe missing shoe. I think that was in this one, though. Yeah, it's in this one. But we do have our friend back here. Bob Barskins. So if I right click to inspect, that will move our hero. And he will come back here and inspect old Bob. It'll take him a minute to get here. We also have this. Uh, raise happiness to 65. Maybe, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. So you can see he does boost things. So with Bob Barskins, greetings, young Seedly. It's been quite a while since I had a visitor. My name is Bob. Apart from growing a glorious mustache, which he does have a good mustache, I am also the keeper of these great forests. So we can befriend him, which will decrease the amount of time trees need to grow. We can chop down and get a trinket for our hero that's pretty powerful. It does boost health regeneration quite a bit. Or we can do nothing and come back to him later. I'm going to befriend him. We're going to let him live here in forever and always. That's just, I think, the best. Yeah, we don't want to chop it down. Now you can see we get this permanent buff that Bob's friend, the trees affected by a forester, needs six less days to grow. So there are other events, uh, or not events, but areas that we can send our hero to, one of which is right here with some ruins. Uh, an old decay structure, perhaps something of value could be inside. So once again, we select him and we right click to inspect and then once this is done it'll go away so we'll wait for our hero to, to make his way over here there he is there he comes and we've got a couple more visitors and we're now completely full and there's our hero let's let's slow him down so we see him walking at normal speed there there we go i love him he's great the ponytail so that was just ruins Underwear, perhaps worn by a great wizard. I don't know. Give us a wooden card. Uh, that we can now place as a decoration. And then that just kind of does that. And it's gone. Uh, we have another one, but it's not in our realm. So I, I can't, you can see, unlock this territory to uh, click it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else out this way. I don't believe so. I thought I bought the one with the shoe. Was that over here? I, I just don't see it is the thing. It's just a glass slipper. It's kind of small, hard to see. I think you officially have enough coins to fill a tub. <laughs> what are we waiting for? You want me to fill a tub? Uh, wrong button. So glass slipper. Oh, there's the missing shoe. Okay, so missing shoe in there for an event. Here we have some more ruins. Here we have an abandoned graveyard. Uh, over here, uh, nothing. And back here we have some more ruins. Over here we have nothing he can do. Uh, back here, I, I already see some things, but we can't click on them because we have them off the adjacent tiles. Uh, we can go ahead and spend some, some coin here. 
just oh there's also an abandoned well on this one so that'll get us a couple so we may as well ah, upon uh buy these since we can afford them and knock out a bunch of hero type stuff here real fast um ruins oh that's it right of money cool uh well not cool around right money but you know what i mean so i thought we i thought did i not kind of sorry about that with the shoe i guess not well, we'll have it soon. Uh, in the meantime, we will send him on a few more errands. We will start, since he's right there, with inspecting the graveyard. And I know this one has a combat option, but he's not... He's only level one, and if I try to do the combat, he'll die. You can revive him, and, and it'll be fine. You can just keep reviving him, but it does cost gold. So if I take everything I find that will start combat, he will die. Uh, or I can just pay 200 in honor of the dead. If I take everything I can find, I'm going to pay 200 to revive him, if, if not more. Uh, so we're just going to honor the dead. Either way, you get the same reward. Uh, so, you know, one just would have leveled him up a little bit. But you can see he does have levels. Uh, I've gotten one up to like level 40 before, uh, which is kind of crazy. But that was using. Um, one of the the buffs from one of the uh people you can woo because they give you a training dummy for him so you can just leave him parked at it and he just sits there and trains all day long but it does take four fablings to staff it so come over and check out the wishing well and see what wonderful things it holds for us looks like there's some coin down in there so are we gonna have to throw some coins in i don't know He's going to have to come to these woods, though. I mean, this is some pretty dense woods. Look at that. That's that's kind of crazy. I keep waiting to just see... There he is. I, say, I just keep waiting to see him pop up in the trees. There, there, There's our guy. Look at that beard, man. Dude's a ginger on top of it all. It's fantastic. So, wishing well. We can throw in a few coins, uh, which will give us decoration. The more we get, the better we get. So I am going to postpone this until we have a little bit more. And in the meantime, we're going to go over here to this other abandoned graveyard. And and we'll look at the combat. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll get lucky and actually be able to defeat these guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to annihilate him, though. Actually, we can't honor the dead. We don't have enough coins. So combat started. He has some baddies he has to swat down. Uh, yeah, he hasn't even killed one of them. He's already lost almost half his health. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna... He, he's done. <laughs> However, he will get experience from this, so... But he's out. <laughs> Dismiss our visitors. He'll just stay there, kind of killed over for now. Uh, actually, no, he won't. I thought he would. Uh, so we have to do a couple things we can do. One, let's... Uh, um, I, no, I'm not going to spend ability on planks. We're, we're doing final planks. So if we come back over to his hut, you can say, oh, it's 100 resurrected. We can also resurrect uh, soldiers if we had them via uh, armory? Weapons. Something. I forget what it's called. So we can resurrect him. And he now is alive again. You can see he's 40%. Uh, yeah, not the best. So we're gonna we're gonna send him back over here to resume battle. Matter of fact, he'll come over here, and as soon as he gets close, the battle will resume on its own. So I thought I declined to that. I meant to decline that. So we'll wait for him to get over here to take on the four skeletons that are still here, and uh, probably watch him get killed again. There he is, coming through the woods. As soon as he gets close enough to be within their combat range, they will attack. Or they should. They, that's usually how it goes. Usually I just pay to honor the dead on these things. But I figured, hey, let's show off some of the cute combat that we can do. The, yeah, see that one? That one detected him. Maybe he'll stand the chance, though. Okay, the other ones did finally see him. Oh, he's going to walk all the way over there before he hits them. That stinks. Uh, oh, he's hitting two of them at once. Ah, uh, he might, he might have a chance here. That's one down, that's two down. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, come on. Come on, hero. Come on. Let's go. Oh, this is close. Yeah! 
Ah, look at that. He is victorious and he leveled up. You can just move him wherever you want. Um, there's also, once we have uh, other troops, an ability to send them in formation to do different things. Uh, so let's send him over to inspect these ruins since they are in our realm. And this should just be uh, just payment of uh, decoration, if I remember. There we go. It popped up a wooden flower pot. Like, just decoration. Not one that I usually use all that much because it doesn't have a huge area of effect. So we do have some more things in other areas, but for now, that's about all we can do. We will see if we can't get I'm pretty sure the more money you throw into this thing, the better decoration you get. Uh, and I want to get the best decorations, even though they're more expensive to build and cost more resources. Though some of the decorations don't require any resources, even some of the really nice ones. Uh, they're just, you just pay the money and they're done. I'm going to speed him back up. Because I Sora saw skeletons. Nope, those are flying pigs that don't fly. So they're just pigs with wings. Um, and... Throw in several coins. Yeah, we're going to wait. Because that wants 300 uh, to do that. So in the meantime, we'll just we'll just leave him out here. He'll be fine. Trust me, he'll be fine. Dismiss visitors. Yes, I really want to dismiss visitors. Uh, we have three unemployed. So let's get those friends to work here. Let's go down this way. And there we go. That is everything except our messengers guild fully staffed however we are going to need to increase the amount of stone we're getting by building a larger stone quarry i'm not sure if we have that unlocked yet we do but then we also have right over here an iron deposit uh and we are going to want to oh we don't have the ability to do that though yet until uh level small town which is our next one so 11 more people we could get a stone mason on the go uh, it is a negative impact. We can get it built at least. I mean, we don't have anybody to work there. Uh, or we could expand out this way with our farms and start thinking about doing bread. Because they do like their bread quite a bit. I just realized these roads aren't going to line up. No, my grid. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, they do. Never mind. I was mistaken. I thought my grid had been tampered with, but no, it's fine. So I'm going to zoom out. We're going to buy that. And I forgot to see if there's anything special in there. There is. So let's send our hero over to here. We're going to dismiss those visitors. Yes, I really mean it. Uh, and then we are going to get some more houses under construction. We'll run this road. Oh, that's it. That's all the money I have road. That's all the money I have road for. That's all the road I have money for. So they want 40 vegetables or decline and lose ability. I don't want to lose ability. I have 400, so I'll give them 10% of, of my vegetables. I don't really want to, but, you know. So basic well reaches to there. So I can get two houses in before I have to build another well. I'm gonna do that, and we can't do that because we can't afford it. Hey, we have a flower rest area. Planted flowers surrounded by wooden benches. Sounds beautiful. Uh, man, there's just water everywhere on this map, and I like that because that means we can get fish everywhere on this map. I think that was it uh, for hero things on this area, yeah? Yeah, we still have the well, but we, we can't afford it. Uh, so we'll get a couple more houses, or we'll get one more house. We're going to get this house built. We have one more house built, uh, and then figure out where we're going to put our next well. Um, probably down here. I can afford a well. So I can go, like, right there, and that will get me good coverage. So we'll build a house there. And... That's it. So I can afford between the well and that. We will get we will get wheat going here 
sooner rather than later. Uh, but I want to make sure that we also click the wrong button. Uh, I want to make sure we also get everything that we have fully staffed. Uh, for one, that gives happiness. Uh, there's a good look at the uh, winged pigs, by the way. They turn into bacon eventually, but we're we're not there. Uh, we have to get to town, which we will, but not anytime soon. Uh, so we've got one house to build. This one is complaining that they don't have any coal. So we might need, for a town this size, we might need a second coal burner. It's very, very possible. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But right now, we just have to uh, wait till we have money. There we go. We can build that one. And now we can get another one in right here. And we can just afford it. And then the next thing we're going to do is build another farm. It's going to kind of go here and be just wheat. And then we're going to build the bakery and all that right here because that the bakery, uh, as you can see, gives desirability in the area. This doesn't does which is kind of cool uh whoa come back i know that i want and road like here cool we can welcome those guys in and get this completely staffed and get our farm on the go and what i want to do is leave space for a granary no i can't even afford it oh no i gotta do this Wait, wait, what? Why can't I afford this? And so that can go there. That's 36 from my 40. Um, let's do like that. Yeah. Cool. And then we're going to throw a granary in right here. That is going to hold just, just grain. And nothing else. And then hi. Uh, so our woodcutters are reporting that one of them accidentally stepped on the ferry. Oh, the little thing was more afraid than harmed. Well, that's good. But it seems to have awakened something in the forest. I can spend five nobility, and these were the world events I was talking about uh, a couple videos ago where nobility uh, comes into play. If I say it's not that bad, uh, trees will need 10 extra days to grow. We do have the Bob Barskin buff of minus six so only add four but i'd still rather not have them taking longer to grow so i'm going to spend that ability that's why we collect it is to be able to get ourselves out of these situations um really that that's all the road i can afford <laughs> broke oi it's all right we'll have more money here in just a minute so this needs uh 50 to get our windmill in and then a hundred for the bakery but there we go we can get our windmill on the go do we have the resources for that yeah planks and stone and then we have to wait to be able to get the bakery i am going to run this just to connect it i like having my roads connected on my grid because i'm a slave to the grid uh, i would like to get one more uh granary in like here ish We'll get those workers in and just five more people. We will be at our next milestone of small town. I just want to check something here. I don't want to get to where the hospital comes in and that's at town. It's a small town. Okay. I just want to make sure that before we get here to the hospital that we have all the resources to build it because you only get a few days after the hospital becomes available before fabling start getting sick so i want to make sure that as soon as i can build the hospital that it's built immediately um if that makes any sense i i just want to ensure that we're not going to run in a situation where we have uh things going south very quick because we don't have anybody to work anywhere uh plus we have to have commoners which we are about to unlock when we hit small town um, but these guys require things that we don't have, namely like the stone blocks. So we'll have like about 15 population that we can play around with, uh, before we really have to build the hospital. And that's kind of the only time in this game that that really happens where you're just like, I must do this thing 
now or it's going to be game over. Uh, so we will build our bakery here. This does add desirability to the area. Why can't I put it? Hold on. Why can't it go there? It's saying it can't go right up against that. Why do I have this backwards? Okay. Well, that sucks. They haven't brought any resources. Did I build that backwards, really? I must have. Because it's just like bakery, no. But there we go. Now the bakery can go there. And then, right next to it. So this one, we need to once again say that this one is going to be only bread dough. I think that's our flour, sorry. Uh, yes, I would like those people to come work here, or live here. Buy the mysterious bean! <laughs> I like this. So, uh, I found this magical bean on my travels and immediately thought of you. Of course you did. You think I'm a sucker. I cannot tell you exactly what it does, but I heard it's quite extraordinary, the traveling merchant. So, I can, I can, uh, buy that, or I can just buy some food? Nah. You decline it altogether or postpone it. I'm buying the bean. I mean, why would I not buy a magical bean? Let's put it over here by the water. I think that'll look lovely. Yeah, let's, let's see which way. I don't Tickle know bean or feed your people. I think you made the right choice. I love how it cuts off his autica at the beginning. He just says, cool bean. Yeah, it sounds like he's saying cool beans. Uh, anyway, uh, so that, good. That one is just flour that one is just grain and then we will eventually build one more right here that will be just bread and we'll be looking pretty doggone spiffy uh so we need we're gonna put just one on everything for now because we are going to be struggling to staff all of this we may wind up pulling those messengers back off the messengers guild but uh let's get that one more granary under construction and then maybe see if we have enough to build a road back here. Yeah, just enough. Cool. And that's going to give us two more workers, but we're not... Actually, it did. It gave us both of them. Cool. So, they're building the granary. Nothing here takes cut stone, so I don't really see why the windmill didn't get built before the granary, but whatever. So, we'll put you there. You're going to be getting just flour, and then you, I need to mark as just bread. So that's the only thing that we want going in here. And again, I do that because otherwise they'll produce too much of one thing and then we won't, the bread production will stop because this will be full of vegetables. They'll all be full of vegetables. And you just don't want that. Um, obviously, you don't want one of your food sources. But it's nice to have your production change just all nice and tight right here to each other. Since these don't get processed into anything, they've just got their own little storage up there. It's like a quarter full. And they're doing, they're doing fine. So these dudes, well, okay, they are working on it. Do I have two laborers? I'm pretty sure I still have two laborers. The hitboxes are a little weird. Yeah, I still have two laborers. So yeah, this should get done. So once again, we'll just speed this up. If a world event pops up, we'll jump to that. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to get these buildings built. Hey, we reached our next milestone, which, uh, yeah, we want to get iron going, but we first we have to get stone going, uh, the stone brick. So that's going to be a big thing we need to do first. But we do now have some more goals here, but that's all going to require some stone brick. And we have a new encounter. That hooded girl. Uh, surely this one is a bit too obvious. <laughs> So, encounters are for our heroes, so we right-click Inspect, and while he's on his way, we can check this. So I can buy some iron? Uh, nah, I'll just produce my own, thanks, bye. Uh, don't really need it, but you are producing fish now, though, I just noticed, up in the corner. So she's just kind of chilling out here. Uh, there we go. So, we can warn her of the danger and receive 10 nobility, or we can just help her on her way, knowing the wolf is probably waiting for her. Uh, and get some bread. So we will do the right thing and warn her that the wolf is clever. It's not safe. Little Red Riding Hood. There we go. So we, we did a good. We did a good. I don't think that gave him any experience. No. 
Uh, yeah, so that's okay. And those encounters just randomly pop up. Eventually, this will be something for our hero to go explore, but it's gonna take a while. So once again, we're gonna camp over here, waiting for this all to get built. Uh, never mind, I lied. Uh, so, oh, well that's nice. She's just gonna give us some stone brick. How nice of her. Uh, I'll put this over by where we're storing our planks, which is there. We don't have anywhere to store stone brick at the moment. We need to get that done. But before we do that, we really need to get uh, actual stone quarry because they can produce a lot more stone in that amount of time. We do have iron here, but I'm planning on expanding buildings, like housing out that way. And the iron really is a huge, huge downside for these guys. They they really don't like living next to it. So, um, so you can see now we have a choice of commoners and peasants and we can split our mix, but we don't have anywhere for any of them to go. So it doesn't matter. You know, game's paused because of reasons. I don't know. So yeah, we'll just do world events and get this built. And we have another world event popping up. We really have, or we would be really happy to have a public area. Uh, I have 30 days to build a street theater. Um, I would really, I could spend 10 nobility and just have it. Interesting. Or I could build it and earn five, but I don't know what it requires. I, I don't think it requires iron. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hope it doesn't require iron. No, just the stone bricks, which we have. So I'm going to bring that to over way over here, which you're probably thinking, well, that's a dumb place to put it. It's for desirability. But yeah, we're also going to be building some condominiums over here. And before I do that, what I want to do is pause and look at desirability. So right now, this is just undesirable land for condominiums. Uh, well, not undesirable. There's undesirable. They don't want to live next to the commoners. Um, you can see for regular housing, it looks great. Uh, but for the townhouses, they're not going to be so happy uh, unless there's some amenities over here. So I am going to put that right here. And that will be the start of getting uh, some amenities over this general direction. Uh, eventually, we'll have a cafe here, but we don't get that until we reach our next milestone either. Um, so we can close that. Another thing we can look at is inhabitants and it shows us the number of people that are in each job. And I kind of, that's how I normally play is I just leave this open. So I can keep an eye on where I need workers and how many houses I have available, but it's not the prettiest to look at for YouTube videos. So we're just going to turn it off. We're going to unpause the game. We only have two more things in our construction, so that'll get done. I'm not too terribly worried about it. And now our bakery. We have one employee there. We will have one person for the granary. And that'll be it. We'll be out of people to work anywhere. Uh, that's okay. We don't have to have somebody working in the street theater right now because it's not going to be providing the buff to anybody. We've got to get a couple more regular houses built. Maybe we might try to get the... I don't know. I might try to get the condos built with the stone we have on hand. I might be able to pull it off. How many does it take? Only five. Yeah, we might. What is, how much does the condo take? Five stone for the condo. Yeah, I think we'll be able to pull it off. Ah, oh, but these take stone as well. Oof, this is painful. This is very painful. However, we're making bread now, uh, which will make everybody very happy to have diversity their diet. I don't know. I think that's really a thing. Uh, but they are happy about this being here. They're, they're, they love having that. And I like having the windmill out here by the farms. I think it looks pretty doggone cool. Uh, and we'll even be able to hopefully get... How cute are those pigs? I hope they don't end up getting eaten. <laughs> Little does he know. Uh, which We can't build that yet, right? No. We're, we're, we're still here. We can do chicken coops and that town and small city, we can start making grapes and quote unquote grape juice. Here we go. Last, last person, boom, done.
done. So then we now have our whole production chain on our wheat into flour into bread, which I love. And we got that built. So cool. Uh, I think we will leave it there for now. Uh, one thing I would like to show you, though, uh, once we do have Street Theater, so that the performer doesn't feel like they're just a total flop, there's uh, cardboard cutouts <laughs> to watch. Them. People will come and watch if they don't have anything to do. But I just think it's hilarious that, uh, like, like you over there patting your belly, that doesn't have anything to do. Yeah, it's all about you. Um, let's do our world event. Yeah, let's party. I think that's a good way to go out. And we'll leave it there. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you, ooh, love timber, to stay vainglorious. glorious.